What's up everyone, this is Bricks for you, and today I'm talking about what I get in a pretty average LEGO store shopping trip. So let's get right into it. I got two collectible minifigures, which are both brown spacemen, because I need space babies for a space nursery I'm going to be making soon. Uh, stay tuned for that, it's going to actually be a mini mock project. It probably takes up maybe two episodes max. Um, even then, I do not think it'll take that long. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna open those up at the very end. Uh, for pick a brick wise, I made this while I was in store, which is a nearly impossible to break, basically, ball. And yeah, it's because it pretty much the inside structure is just pretty much unbreakable. It's, it's actually pretty nice because it each part of it reinforces another part. Um, so, you know, of course, you can you break it with a sledgehammer, but, like, you know, just dropping it from even, like, maybe top of the stairs or whatever probably will not break this. You know, at most, I might break one of these sides off, but even then, the core of it is pretty strong. Um, here we have our pab cup. So let's just cut the tape and get right into it. So... I reuse my pab cups because you get like a 50 cent discount or whatever on them. I, as you can tell from how yellowed, I'm not sure if it will come across properly, but this in real life is incredibly yellowed. And so, you know, so when, you know, when I, when I say I have had some of these pab cups for a long time, I mean, I've had them for a long time. I mean, if you kind of see on the underside, it is... Yeah, it's it's yellowed. Um, it's very yellowed. So this is what I do to get some parts in the top. Then I also put parts through. So I got some two by fours for a city related video. Um, if I'm just going to kind of move camera out ever so slightly, and let's just make a mess here that I'm going. To to have to sort. And as you can see, I got a bunch of two by fours to make the Spring Lantern Festival set a Mills. I hope, I hope that is enough bricks for that. I have no idea. I actually do not think it is. I, I, have to, I really do hope. I got a bunch of random elements. Like I got these, which I use to make a fish design. I actually have some random bins of bricks beneath this table, so I'm just going to grab a part, and you can basically take one of these, put them like this, take another one like this, take one of these pieces, put that right there, and if I can find another two of these, you can then put one there, and when there, it doesn't really, actually, what you really need to do is you need to have, like, a basically a one-by-one one in this salmon color. And you can kind of make what looks like a fish. Ever, like, ever so slightly, you can, you know, of course, move these around and you get a, you know, better-looking fish. But, you know, wh whatever. Um, it's a very simple pattern. And you can also take a one-by-one. Uh, one. Oh, crap. I thought that would work. But you cannot put a one by one side down there. Once you have it there, it kind of looks like a fish now. You can you know, you can kind of see it. I hope. Um, I got a couple of these. These are just very cool pieces. I I love them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they're really cool. Uh, as you can see, I got some leaf elements. I also got one by twos in white. Got some of these to replenish what I've used on the park project. Also got some of these because I have a bunch of 1x3s in dark blue, so I might make a house out of them. And this part is where some of the, where my favorite parts I got from Pick a Brick are typically. Because this is where all of the, you know, small parts I find are. Uh, and of course parts get stuck in tape. Got some of these black pieces to do. I have no idea with. I yeah, I just I just got them, um, and I got a bunch of I got like 
for these jewel pieces just because I, I love the jewel pieces. I got this piece because it's one of my all-time favorite pieces. Just the my camera focuses on it. It's just a purple sparkly piece. It, it, it's bloody amazing. It's one of the coolest things I think Lego's ever made. Yeah, it's it's just so, so cool. Um, let me see. Did this go in the top part? Okay, so there's still a couple pieces in the top part. Um, another one of my favorite parts is right there, which is the one by one. Uh, this white piece. I've gotten a couple of those for the Space Nursery. Also, I got a couple of these parts for Space Nursery, such as these uh, yellow uh, studless uh, tiles. So yeah, I'm going to be working on that Space Nursery very, very soon. I got what is probably my favorite piece ever. That is just this... Come on, camera, focus. Focus. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Um, trying to get a camera to focus is like hurting stray cats. I mean, honestly, it's just impossible. That's because it's too close, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's one of these... Oh, I just had it focused. Uh, it's one of these really cute little pink hearts. I love this piece so much. I have it, I believe, in every single color it's ever been in. It's just such a cool piece. Um, now I'm going to clean these parts up. I'm actually going to be sorting them very soon. Let's open up some Space Babies. And yeah, that's where I'll leave you off for today. And just know Space Nursery is coming soon. Probably, God, March 10th or March 12th. You know, right after I get through BTS, Rex Helmet. Hopefully, if I can get the moving truck promo... And, of course, Rivendell. And, yeah, I also have the original Rivendell set to, to comparison, comparisonize to the new one. But yeah, I'm going to probably end up making a bigger mess cleaning up, so I'll be right back. You've seen me open a packet like this about a thousand times before. I'm just going to open up this one, make a cut, and then go to the other space baby. Because, okay, that space baby just went flying. Um... Because you, because you are, you already know these are just gonna be two brown spacemen. There's, there's, there's pretty much nothing else but brown spacemen in this household. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna open this other one and get right back. Two more brown spacemen and the apical space babies. Yes, we are going very again very soon. I'm going to be working on the space nursery. So yeah, I cannot wait to have that video out. That's what all these space babies are going to because. You know, you, you need a nursery for space babies. I mean, you know, where else are space babies going to go? You know, asking, like, because we, we, we do not want space babies to grow up like Squid Man over there. Pfft, Squid Man. Pfft. Yeah, he's a joke to us all. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye. And get a lot of space babies, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I, what, what is the moral of this video even? That blue space babies are good. That blue space babies are good. Okay, that is the moral of this video. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and goodbye.